shooting stars, swords, faces, anime hair. You know when there's an install game button on the title screen that the loading times are gonna be great. What is up everybody, Digging Up Cool here. Welcome to Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Don't think too hard about the title or else your head will explode. This game of all the Kingdom Hearts games is an interesting one and not just because of the load times. So most of us know about the main series stuff like Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, and 3, which is to be released as of right now. Good job dating myself. I'll take myself out for a nice dinner. You like sushi? I like sushi. Sushi's great. But most people don't actually remember the handheld stuff like Chain of Memories, 358 over two days, Recoded, Birth by Sleep, and Dream Drop Disc. The handheld iterations are less appreciated ones, which is why I'm covering them, because I'm so hip, yo. So very hip, you can tell. Of the lesser known games, this is one of my favorites because it sticks pretty close to the original style of Kingdom Hearts while still incorporating somewhat new ideas to keep it fresh and interesting. So let's start this before I bore you all. What difficulty do I want to play? The I can handle it mode? The I'll struggle mode? The I'm dead mode? and the don't even try mode. I'm gonna play the I shouldn't even try mode. What is happening right now? Why am I a human burrito? You want a completely awful rundown of the story? No, I don't care. Let's go. This guy, his name is Ben. He wants to be a master. He's too young, apparently. And then his friend, uh, Roxas Snow. And then his friend Terra leaves his home planet and chases after Terra. Like, way to do some stuff. And then the whole game chasing after Terra. And there's a guy who's playing master and he's evil and stuff. And the event is also partly evil, but part of the story was removed. And he lies because he's very stupid. Something, something, story, story. No one cares. Bye. What am I messing around here for? I know, right? I should have skipped the tutorial. Wait, am I playing as Terra? What is happening? Why am I someone else? Oh yeah, I also wanted to bring attention to something before I actually decide to play for real. There's a little bar in the bottom that's called the focus gauge. You may notice my character's focus gauge is at max, but if you actually show my real life focus gauge, it's empty. Where do you come from? I'm skipping cutscenes, so... Oh, this... Apparently... What? What is ha- I'm so confused. Advice for life. If you focus hard enough, you can shoot bubbles at people. The greatest of powers. Okay, let's wrap this up. Are we all just going to be Ventus burritos now? Power is born within the- Star Wars like acting. A character was just talking about looking inside yourself and finding your true inner power, and then it's like, look at this dice rolling game. I have to admit, for the scenario right now, I don't feel like this music is very applicable. It's like, you are pumped, you are ready to go. Look at some stars. Oh boy, it's Minnie Mouse. And this is why I picked this game. Oh boy, that's a lot of water. Oh. Okay, now I have the choice not between classes, but between characters. Terror, of course, is everyone's favorite boulder. He just sits there. Ventus fights like a fart. And Aqua has bubble power. Earlier I made a comment on Star Wars style voice direction. Some of the voice actors in this game worked on Star Wars. Am I, am I gonna make the cheap joke? Am I gonna make the cheap joke? No, I'm not gonna make the cheap joke. You can't make me. That's, that's not part of a song. It's not, I refuse to admit it. Um, Ventus, why do you have a wooden Keyblade replica? I thought you had a real Keyblade. Oh. It's just a gift made by Terra. You know, I thought Terra would make it out of rocks, but I guess my expectations were ground shattering. So here we are in the Grand Canyon. I'm here with Spiky Mc. I have gel everywhere. And over here, we have a beautiful view of nothing. So these enemies we're fighting are actually known as unversed. They didn't, they didn't study their Shakespearean lines. I'm pretty sure that's not the context that's correct. Is it? Google it. Not gonna Google it, just gonna edit this out? Okay, good job, lazy. Come on, you know you can do better. You're you're up to the challenge. Man, I make editing a nightmare for myself sometimes. Ooh, fire pots. Not quite sure how they float through magic. That's my excuse for everything that doesn't make logical sense. It's so shiny and glittery. It's so shiny and sparkly and cartoony and I love it. I'm Ventus. Call me Ben. A diamond thief. Take cover, you fools. Why? Why do you, why do you, why? Ventus didn't even say like, I'm here to steal your diamonds, as every good thief does. Now it's time to chase them all down because that'll make them feel safer about me. This is the music I love to hear when I'm shopping for basic goods. Hmm, what do I want? Do I want to buy the strike raid, the confuse, maybe some potions? I think that deserves some grand music. Look at all these diamonds, they're so sparkly. Did I just get a sticker? Huh, 
Sony beat Nintendo to the punch a little bit. Meverse, it's all stickers. Oh, and you know, actual posts. Of all ways to start a game, I have to admit, one of the best ways is by starting out with hide and seek. Not even sarcastically, I love it. Oh, I think I found Sleepy. Come on, man, wake up. Okay, maybe now is not a good time to wake up because I think you'll, you'll pass out out of fear. Yeah, maybe now is not a good time. You just go back to sleep. I think you're the wisest one. Rise and shine, Sleepyhead, and watch as the mine around you crumbles. There we go, I got another one. I'm sorry for surrounding you with deadly creatures, but it's, it's all good. Y you're safe. You can trust me. I'm on the internet. And therefore, by that logic, everything I say must be true. Did the minecart moving at like two kilometers per hour really damage me that much? Hey, I got you out of your box. You sure seem nice. I wish we could help you, but I'm gonna say it with such an aggressive look on my face that it seems passive aggressive. Oh, you sure seem nice. I wish I could help you. I love assuming the best of people. Gotcha. Oh, by the way, sorry for breaking your minecart. Are you worried that I can't pay it back? Because I would be. I'm telling you, I'm no thief. You can trust me because I hit you a bunch of times until you believed me. I'm not a thief, but I'm not a good... Uh, uh, sorry, that... Sorry, ruining immersion experience stuff. Meh. Ooh, a big chest. Usually the good rewards are in these. That animation was reward enough. I just broke into the dwarf's house, I think. Ventus has been charged with breaking and entering. He will now serve five years in prison. What is it with me and not liking Ventus? There's nothing wrong with him. There's nothing wrong with him from the very small interpretation I've gotten from like half a cutscene. What's wrong, Snow White? I care enough to ask, but not to figure it out. I am a good person. Protect Snow White until escort mission. Game, I love you but don't do this to me. Stop running away from the loading zone. What are you doing? Why? Five hours later. Love this game, but don't do critical mode, kids. Was I just comparing critical mode to drugs? I would try to roll with it, but no. You can't be this bad at protecting yourself. Oh, good. One, why, why can't Snow White protect herself? Is there a particular reason why? Second of all, why does her pathfinding go in the least optimal route to get to the clearing possible? We took like a, an hourglass shaped turn. Oh good, a giant tree with a Halloween face. I wish I was playing this on Halloween because it looks like a jack-o'-lantern and I love it. Did I just die in one hit? I'm gonna jinx it, I know I am but I can't really tell where the difficulty of critical mode is coming in yet. How even? Well, I guess now that Ventus is dead forever and always, that means the recording can end. So, now that Ventus is apparently dead from explosives from a tree, I guess this is where the video is gonna end. So, hopefully you've all enjoyed. I will see you all in the next video. Ciao.